welcome everybody to the Levy Lab. That's the downstairs lab. And that's where I spilled the drink the other night. Good bit of get though. But anyway, that's not the point. Welcome to a new type of video. Because those of you are in my face you are in my Facebook group. If you're not, why not? Link below. Well already know that I am studying for well, I'm starting to study uh, for Bachelor of Science Honorary in uh, Natural Sciences, specialising in Physics, specialising in Astronomy and Planetary Sciences. This is a three-year course done with the Open University. For those who don't know, it's a UK-based university, which allows you to study remotely, and you can do uh, classes and stuff. If you wish, you can go to a local university, which is handy for me because I work at one. Uh, yes, and working at a university has inspired me to do this again. Because it's a long story, but to cut it short, I was going to the university when I finished college, but wasn't sure that I was quite suitable for it. So I decided to join the Air Force because they said they'd pay for my university. Which, a few years later, when I felt I was ready, they did, but they put so many secondary duties on me and started sending me all over the world, it was just impossible for me at the time. Uh, then I, when I left the Air Force I started this degree, I actually got in the second year, halfway through the second year, but uh, due to financial problems I had to stop and we thought never going to be able to do it again, never going to afford this because this now is a £16,000 course which is a lot of money but now uh, here in the UK the Open University do the student loan system which is where you get a loan from the government and you start to pay it back once you hit £21,000 of income per year and it is 90, sorry, 90%, 9% of anything over 21,000. So if you're earning 21,000, it works out about 30 pound a month, which for a 16,000 pound loan is not bad. You're gonna be paying it off for a long time, but about 30 pound a month. Even if you're earning 45,000, it, uh, it it works out 140 odd, I don't, I think, don't quote, which it's not a huge amount for your income and for what you're getting and for what it could lead to. So what I want to do with this is basically I want to learn what I've always wanted to learn is astrophysics and cosmology and as I said I've already passed the first year so I, the course I've got here I already passed but that was eight years ago and there's a maths course to go with this too which is yet to start. Hello Fluffy. Hey. It's just come in from getting the eyebrows done. Were they open? No, they're not open. So she hasn't had her eyebrows done. But anyway, that was eight years ago, so I phoned them up and they said, oh, you've got credits. But then I said, well, that was eight years ago, I've forgotten all the stuff, and I really enjoyed the first year, and I'd like to do it again. So they said, okay, we understand that. You can do it again. So, about a month before the course is due to start, before the website's even due to start, they've sent me this parcel, which is good, because they did that last time when we were about a month ahead on all the work to do with it. So I thought I'd open it up, show you what we've got. We're not going to go into details on the books obviously because I don't want to infringe on any copyrights for the OU for obvious reasons. So we're just going to have a quick look, uh, see what sort of things we get and then if anybody's interested yeah. now and again I'll do a vlog on how it's going. I'm not sure, obviously not going to show any materials but I'll discuss my uh, progress and what's going on and what's happened I think that will help me as well to progress so oh the finance I am still waiting for my birth certificate to come through that should be another week or so uh, when this is filmed and then the finance can be confirmed but at the moment they've said I am eligible but they're just waiting for that uh, last thing to come through so I hope it does come through because I own hard cash for this house <laughs> And this module is just under £1,700 this year, which is amazing considering I paid about, what was it last time? £600. £600. Now it's £1,000. This bloody lot more expensive. But there we go. Everybody's taking advantage. Anyway, let's not go into that. Let's open the book, shall we? And see what sort of things we get. Open the box this time. Ooh. Ooh. 
them. Brooks, Brooks, Brooks. Oh, the Open University Home Practical Kit for S104. Remember this? Oh, they've changed the styling at least. Uh, it was S103 last time, but I'll do uh, that for now. Okay, it's all new. Holding magnifying glass, uh, pH testers, and a crystal. I've got a bloody big crystal over there. Uh, and that, and the practical kit, which used to be a tray with uh, samples in. It looks like it's not anymore. <coughs> so there we go. Ah. We have loose samples, so different minerals to examine and stuff. Uh, I forgot to say what this course is about. This is the first year science course, which basically covers all aspects of science all the different uh, disciplines so you can get uh, all the basic skills needed to do science at a higher level it also works on the mass it does go into quite a bit of depth uh, but yes it's a broad introduction across the disciplines so we've got the S104 DVD1 and DVD2 and we did it, it was videos yep we did it on videos, I wish I kept them now they were class I think they were shot in the early <coughs> in the late 80s judging by the clothes people were wearing in them, but it looks like we've got all modern stuff now, more mod cons. We'll be doing downloads and online stuff next. What will they think of And next? all the lovely books. <coughs> let's have a look. That's, that's book eight. So let's go. Let's turn them over. Oh, look at these lovely books. Oh, great chemistry. Book one. Oh, strange. Global warming. Which definitely wasn't in the last course. What pages? No, there was a global warming aspect. Yeah, but they didn't actually have a section devoted to it. Obviously, I can't show this in any detail because that's uh, OU's intellectual property. Book 2, Earth and Space, which is my favourite because... Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, big thick book. There's loads of maths and stuff and science. 250 pages of it, so I'm looking forward to that module because that was near the end last time when we did S103. Yeah, it was like book 9 or 10. Yeah, sure, I had to wait for that. And I really wanted to get onto it. Oh, another one of my favourites, being a physicist type of guy. Energy and light. Mm. Oh, e I saw it there. E equals mc squared. Diffractions, everything. Diffractions. Oh, energy equals milk and, milk and coffee with two sugars. So what's, uh, yes. Uh, energy conservation, kinetic energy and algebra, work energy and power, motion under gravity, internal energy, heat transfer and temperature change. Electrical energy, energy from the sun, light as a wave. What can you see in that thingy? <laughs> light as a wave, light as particles. Can you see the page? Yeah, good. So I'm just going to see, make sure you see the book. Uh, wave particle duality. And stuff like that. Let's just see what's in this earth and space. Uh, earth introduction. Earthquakes, volcanic activity, how rocks are formed inside the earth, earth changing phase, continental drift, uh, sea floor spreading, theory of plate tectonics, plate movement and earth history, plate tectonics and the whole earth, planetary neighborhood, Ooh. our sun and the stars to the edge of the observable university, University. <laughs> motion and gravity. Newton's first law of motion, Newton's second law of motion. Don't think they were actually in it last time. No. This is this seems a lot more mass. Well, I remember book eleven being the astrophysics book and being really confused by it. It's lucky you haven't done it this time. Why if you did it last time? Started the same one as me, but decided this time she's going to go with the history and she hasn't yet decided which one she's going to do. So she may do a vlog as well, you never know. <clears throat> the right chemistry, which is what's this covering? It's in the last book. Where do materials come from? Atoms, molecules, and ions. I really enjoyed this last time because uh, this is the sort of stuff I like. Grouping of atoms, molecules, and ions inside the elements. Do, do, do. In fact, they've really ripped the course apart and rebuilt it. Chemical, yep. Yeah. Chemical formulas, learning equations. I enjoyed that last time. Metals, reactivity, <gasps> chemical reactions, and Energy changes, rates of chemical reaction changes, acids base equilibrium, introducing carbon compounds, crude oil, function groups and reactions, applying the functional approach through chemistry, organic molecules in action, and so much. Remember last time you could choose 
I think it was all free through the course. You could choose which book you'll get. God, you had a thick this time. A lot uh, thicker than the last one. <laughs> these, are, these are worth the money. Uh, wow. They've really redesigned all the course. Polysaccharide. Yeah, I'll get Google to pronounce that for me. <laughs> Uh, I, I did my food course, so I'll be able to help you with the pronunciations. This is going to be the creationist favourite, isn't it? What is life? Diversity, the spice of life, cell units, the cell, the cell unity within diversity, the chemistry of life. It's going to be evolution in here somewhere. The energy for life, I enjoyed that last time. Ecosystem. Ecosystems and energy for life. Genetic lottery. Meiosis and the genetic lottery, variations on a dream. Gene, what genes are made of, using genetic information. Gene structure and function and eukaryotes, looking at genomes, evolution, the selection, species and populations. <laughs> Creationist favourite. <laughs> oh, and that one as well, the timeline of life. So if you're a creationist, don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> the timeline of life. Summary of book five. Mind you, if you're a creationist, you wouldn't be doing this anyway. Because you might be intelligent enough. All right. Oh, hello. Exploring her history. Now, this, this book sounds interesting. What have we got here? Oh, this is going to be geology. Yeah. Fossils, igneous rocks, formation of molten magma, sedimentary rocks, metamorphic rocks, uh, geological time, geology, and the British Isles, physical resources, and the Earth system. That's also one of interest to me because I'd love to do a geology degree one day. That sounds very interesting, that one. <laughs> that was book um, oh, book twelve lady. last time. I we didn't do this last time. We did. We were not, not in this depth. Not in this depth, but we did do it. But it was like a really small book right at the end of the course. Oh, cool. Oh, I recognise that. That's a yeah, black body spectrum, spectra. I have my other books. Oh, oh yeah. Can you this remember the names of the quarks? Quarks up, down, left, right, charm. Strange love. Yeah. Not down, strange bottom. Hey, 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 quarks. So this is on its own this time. In much more detail. By the looks of it, nuclear processes, atomic structure, quantum uncertainty. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, I'm all geeked out. How many minutes have I been going on this? Uh, Twelve. That's all right. Thought it was longer. And life in the universe, which is covering. So I'm doing this as well to hope to inspire other people uh, if they're in the UK and have access to this or in the, anywhere in the world you can actually study with the OU but obviously the paying is going to be different, uh, finance will be different. Right, uh, introduction, getting most out of scientific articles, problems with, oh yeah. origin of life on earth, that's uh, abiogenesis. <laughs> uh, life elsewhere in the solar system. Quick assessment plan candidates, life beyond the solar system, uh, Smith Book 8, life explored. So I think one of these books may be uh, optional, which is what they did last time, I don't know, yeah, you I can't can, say that this time. You Just could drop one. one of the assignments if you wanted to. Uh, looks like they got rid of that big folder we had last time, big study folder they sent us. That might be in the next pile. I don't know, I have to read. Uh, so yes, uh, introduction and guide, home practical tit, uh, tit and DVD pack. Ah, read me first. There we go. That's the uh, that's the book to show you what to do. So there we go. Thank you very much, Open University. I am looking forward to this, baby. Uh, I shall put these in this way. Just sound like a much I'm more interesting course than the last one. I'm so tempted to read through that first, but no, I should do it properly. That's a, that's a big pile of books. Uh, gold. Yes, thick, big, thick pile of books. But I'm putting them back in, in the order they're going to be read. What lovely colours they have. Yeah, because the last ones were rather plain, if I remember rightly. There's no, there's a picture, they were nice, but these were even nicer. So, there we go. Uh, I've got my little thing in there, my little thing in there, and I've made a little book. Did I just put it on the bottom? Yes. Proud. And there's my kit. So, yes, I shall be doing vlogs about this and all sorts as I go. Obviously not covering, uh, showing you the contents or the assignments or anything like that. It will just be a discussion of what we're doing, what I'm enjoying, what I'm struggling with. And uh, there we go, just a general what life is like on this course. And I've got the mass one coming as well later date. So, there we go. 
Welcome to academic life. Thank you all very much. Oh, any questions or any comments? Please leave below. Thank you all very much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. Ha <laughs>